friend, welcome to Chrysalis Chats. My name is Tanya and I help people just like you transform their diets and lifestyles to be plant-based. I'm so stoked to be here with you today at the beach and by the end of this video, you're gonna have my top three tips for dealing with cynics and mean-spirited people who just don't support you on your vegan path. With that said, let's dive right into it. So the problem, right? You're surrounded by some people at an event, or maybe it's somebody even personally in your life, and they're just giving you flack for being vegan. Maybe they're coming at you on an online forum. Maybe they're you know, in person and they're like, but why would you do that? Maybe they're saying some really hateful, kind of mean-spirited things about people who are adopting a plant-based lifestyle. Whatever the case may be, the fact of the matter is, Unfortunately, there are some lost souls out there and also some people who have just a mean spirit to them. And you know what, friends, before we even get into my top three ways to deal with this, it's so important for us to remember this one thing, that nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, if somebody's coming at you with a mean spirit, they're very likely coming at you with that energy because deep within them, they are wounded. Deep within them, they have pain, okay? And so I know it can be so, 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 so hard to remember that while you're maybe feeling kind of pissed, right? For lack of a better term. While you're feeling maybe hurt, okay? But at the same time, if you can remember that one thing, you have a leg up on that situation. Not only in how you respond to them verbally or in your communication, but also in how you respond to them emotionally, okay? And I just wanna make sure that we get that out the way, that you understand that if that person's coming at you with negative energy or whatever the case may be, it's not on you, it's not your fault, it's not even about you at the end of the day, it's about them. It's a reflection of where they're at mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and you, my friend, are on this really positive pathway. Obviously, we all have challenges and struggles and none of us are perfect because we're human, but at the same time, you're choosing this awesome plant-based lifestyle and diet that's gonna transform your whole experience. And that is something to be celebrated, not for a second to be shamed or hurt or harmed, okay? The wave's like, I agree. <laughs> but with that said, you know, how do you deal with this? So the first thing I suggest that you consider on this situation is to be aware of your emotions. Be aware, okay? Be aware of your emotions and their intentions. So we just talked a little bit about being aware of your emotions. The more you're aware of your emotions, the more you can master your response to the situation, okay? Now, let's talk about being aware of their intentions. Maybe this person is literally just trying to piss you off. That is a thing, there's such a thing as a troll, and I know you probably already know that, but point being, the more you're aware of their intentions, the more you know how to positively respond to the situation. So if somebody is just trying to piss you off, why are you giving them their energy? Why are you giving them your energy? Why are you feeding into that? Why are you giving them a response? Or maybe you're not, and that's to be celebrated. Don't worry about it. If that person wants to concern themselves, with nothing other than pissing people off, what kind of a life do you think they're living? Not the kind of life you're living. What's up, vegan? High five. <laughs> okay, so that's just something to consider in this process, okay? The second thing that I recommend you do in this kind of situation, if you're dealing with a cynic or with somebody who's just mean-spirited, is that you vegetate them, okay? You can share your reasons for why it is that you are this way. Say it's not somebody, you sense that their intention is not to simply piss you off. You sense maybe that their intention is to just, you know, give you some critical response, give you some cr critical feedback. Maybe they feel that they authentically have some type of a reason or a perspective that you should consider. And maybe they feel that it's, you know, just opposite of what it is that you're doing. And maybe they just feel like there's nothing wrong with that. They're not trying to, you know, instigate extra crap with you. They're not trying to upset you or make you feel sad. But they just, uh, you know, they just, they have a different perspective. So what you can do in that, friends, how you can respond to that is to vegetate them. You can educate them about your reasons, your logic, 
and really just the cold hard facts of the situation. You know, like did you know that 80% of starving children in this world live in countries where they grow food to feed cattle and other animals that we ingest in Western countries? What? Cold hard facts. Did you know that cow milk also contains a pretty significant amount of pus and blood? Ew, ew. Not to mention antibiotics, RBST, RBGH, and pesticides. Blick. Cold hard facts. <coughs> Excuse me. Third thing that I suggest you do in this situation, and this is kind of like the last thing you can do, and realize it may not be a just quick fix, okay, but the last thing you can do is state your boundaries. Let them know if it's a friend, if it's a colleague, if it's a family member, if it's an acquaintance, just somebody you just met. Let them know your boundaries. Let them know if they're coming at you with a bunch of kind of ignorant, hateful, you know, spewing speech. Then you can just be like, you know what? I really, you know, thanks for the conversation. Thanks for talking, but I'm done with it. And I wish you the best. I wish you a great day. I'll see you later. Simple as that. Or say, you know what? colleague I appreciate this conversation but I really don't feel comfortable continuing it at this point maybe we can resume it in the future but for now you know I really just feel like we should end this here for everybody's best interest and that's really all you have to leave it at you know you can healthfully state your boundaries in a way that's not mean in a way that's not um, you know detrimental but it's actually just healthy and it's letting them know that you're kind of done with that conversation and friends, something important to remember here is that it's not your job to convert the world to veganism, okay? Now, if that's something you feel inclined to do or to provide people the information based on their own interest or receptivity to the topic, then by all means, go, 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 proselytize them. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. But for real, you know, share your, your information and your lived experience and what you can add to that situation, okay? Because that's awesome. The more of us who go vegan, the better, right? So that is something I wanted you to consider. Those are my top three tips. I just want to express so much gratitude to everybody who's been hitting the like button, putting comments down below, making sure they're subscribed to this channel. I really do appreciate all the support. Be sure you check out Chrysalis Chats on Instagram and also on Facebook. I'm a little less active there right now, but Instagram, I put up daily content. And also check out my website, chrysalisandcocoon.com. The link, as always, is in the description. And whether you're just a little baby caterpillar starting off like where are the leaves at or you're a full-fledged butterfly sipping the rewards of a plant-based diet you my friend are awesome have a great day thank you so much butterflies <laughs>